So when I shine the light on the pump, punk stick, you can clearly see this trail right here. See this trail? That's bad. <laughs> this is your chimney sucking heat out of your house right now and pulling air in through your windows and doors. And you may think, why not just close the doors? Then the air will stop going. But it never does. It just keeps getting sucked right through the fireplace, right up through your chimney and out into the atmosphere. So even if you close the damper, it still doesn't do anything because most dampers are warped from the heat of the fireplace. And it costs billions of dollars a year. So what I've decided to do is seal mine up permanently and not ever use it again. And to do that, I needed to get on my roof need to take off the chimney cap. Now, first of all, make sure you're safe and feel safe on the roof. If you're not safe, don't do it. But, uh, you know, for me, I'm, I'm pretty used to it. It's not a big deal. I make a template with a piece of sheet metal, mark right around the top of the chimney. I'll take it out to the work table and I'll cut it exactly to fit the top of the chimney so that the chimney cap doesn't get in the way. I don't want to have it too big or too small. Then I'll take uh, some silicon caulk. doesn't matter what color or what kind, but just make sure you put a generous bead of silicon caulk all the way around the rim and uh, you'll be able to get a nice bond between the chimney and the metal and that'll hold it down and make it airtight. That'll prevent air from flowing up through it. So line it up, make sure you're in the right spot and then press down. Now you're going to have a nice permanent air sealed chimney so you won't have air constantly blowing up through it. When you're finished, put the chimney cap back on, and uh, obviously I can't use my fireplace anymore, but uh, if you can, there's other options. You can use a fireplace plug balloon, or you can use a chimney damper cap, which moves up and down. But anyway, make sure you crank those screws down real good and tight, so you don't have to ever get back up there again. And that's it. Pretty simple project. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on your energy bills, stop by my website at howtohomeinsulation.com. You'll find the videos and information you need to start saving money on your energy bills right now. My name's Corey Binford. Thanks for watching.